Hey, what's up, William? What's up? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hi. Good evening. How do you do, William, today? Teacher, and excuse me, because yesterday I, I couldn't be in the class because I have a problem with the audio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed. But uh, don't worry. It's fine. Sometimes that happens when we have problems with with the connection, with with Zoom or anything else. But don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, Jensi, hello. How's it going to you today? Welcome. Thank you, Coach. Hi. Okay. Pretty good to see you online uh, in today's class. Perfect, guys. Is something is going on with the streets, on the streets, right? You Do you know what it, what is it? Something's going on outside in the news. You know anything about it? For what? Uh, I heard that some streets were going to be closed. Oh yes, in the nose. Yeah, maybe for the celebration of the universe Miss Universe. No? Uh, oh, okay. That is the reason why. Yes. Ah, okay. Because at Miss Universe, ah, anyways. That's yes. it's gonna be As, heavy. Yes. Do you do you drive? Yeah. All right. Okay, maybe you have to look for other routes. No, in my case, no, no, it's, it's no problem because I live in the new, new Lourdes. And ah, okay. Colón. No ah, near to Lourdes. Ah, okay, in that, in that place, no issues. Yes. Okay, and what about you, William? Do you drive? Uh, do you drive to your work? Oh, I take the bus. And ah, I live bus. in, in Casaltepeque. In the bus, I live in Casaltepeque. Ah, okay. No, no problem. issues for, for you neither. Okay, pretty good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Uh, nice having you in this class. Let me ask you, how are you doing with the with the section three? In section three is done, right? Section yes. four? Yes. You're still working on them? On the exercises, mm. or is it done? Oh, I finished. Ah, okay, that's more than excellent. No yeah. issues. Okay, if you if you can or if you want, uh, you can advance with the other unit. There's no problem with the unit five. In the final exam, there it is. Okay, perfect. Jonathan, Jonathan, Davis. Good Hello, evening, Jonathan. teacher. Hello, what's up? How are you? Good? Fine, thank you, yes. Okay, good. Okay, perfect, perfect, guys. Okay, let's see. Last night, we were talking about uh, appearance, right? Remember? People's describing people, face, describing people's eyes, uh, about the hair as well, um, using adjectives, they were to be, they were have, etc. Okay, in other vocabulary related to that. In this class, class number 11, let's check what we are going to be developing in this class. Let's check. Let's go with it. Okay, nice question. Like ah, last night I did it. I remember. Do you like your hair? You love it? Or you hate it? In my mm. case, I like my hair. I am happy with, with my hair. Hope you too. Hope you too. Okay. Check. This is a topic. We are going to check this about hair. Can you read it? Uh, no, teacher. Hair. 
I don't see you do the screen, no? Ah, oh, sorry. Let's see. Yeah. I thought I was projecting it already. Yes. Sorry, guys. Let me project it in this moment. Okay. Let's see. Let me know once you see it. No. Now we can see. Um, but the desktop. Ah, yeah. Okay. So that means I am desktop. projecting. Okay. Perfect. Uh, this is the class. Okay. Class number 11. 11 for this. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the topic. We are going to be right. talking about the hair. Why hair is important. Do you think that your hair is important nowadays? Or you have not to pay it attention too much on your hair? Yeah, I see it is important. It is. Okay, imagine <laughs> you with your head, with your head shaved. Remember the vocabulary? Head with the head, con la cabeza? Yes. Shaved. Imagine, imagine yourself with your head and no hair. Okay, let's see. Hair care, that is the topic. Hair care. Uh, let's see. Um, William, can you read this uh, first part? Women. Hair care. Women go to the. Today. Do you go? Do you go to the beauty salon? Ah, okay. The arrow means that that the place is where women go. Women go to the. Women beauty. go to the. To the beauty salon. To the beauty salon. But in the question it says, "Do you go to the beauty salon?" No, 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 no. I don't go to any beauty salon. No, <laughs> I don't go to any beauty salon. And you? Do you go to any yeah. beauty beauty salon? No. No, right? But it's clear. No. no, it's clear. Only women go. Why? Because in this place, it is not only about women. Yes. You can go, but it's specialized for women. Question for you. What do you prefer? Uh, a barber, barber shop, or a beauty salon? Depends. Depends on what? Depends because um, in... In cautionally done, where you go to to prefer that, for example, that um, conditioner special for two treatment and the new hairs, maybe in the in the barbery don't have. Ah, that manicure, is good. a manicure, um, spa, for example, and don't have it in barbers. Uh, if you want to have this. Special treatment. You go I to the beauty salon. Okay, treatment. Treatment is the the process that you yes. look for in a beauty salon. You're right. Maybe in barber shops, and they don't have a, a specific products or a specialized products for your hair. You're yes. right in that point. Uh, what do you think, William? Would you prefer, and uh, Jonathan, would you prefer going to a beauty salon or a barber shop? Mm -hmm. The barber shop. Ah, okay. So your opinion is different from Jensi because Jensi says no. Uh, because uh, in my case, I went to the barber shop and for the cut my hair. Only one. Ah, okay. Hair. Only uh, for a haircut. Only for the haircut. No products. For the haircut. No cream. No, no, no conditioner. No. Ah, okay. Only for the haircut is, is fine. Okay. Jonathan, in, you? In, in my case, I almost always got to the 
barber shop only in special occasions i i, I got to a beauty salon for example if i have uh, no options to cut my hair and there is only a beauty salon so oh, okay. i choose that option okay nice another question for you would you let a woman would you let a woman touch your hair in a beauty salon would you let her yes or no would you let would you let a woman touch your hair with scissors uh, depends depends <laughs> okay yes. yeah that depends if the beauty sal salon is professional, why not? It is supposed that that is a place where professional people work, yes or no? Yeah. Same same in a barber shop. Okay, what barber shop or beauty salon do you go to? What is the name of, of the barber shop or beauty salon that you go to? Well, do you visit any? Uh, well, occasionally when I to the go uh the salon and occasionally I go to the with my daughter, and um, she recommended that uh, for example when I tried my fascia for example, and I need to um medical special then in barbecue and health, but uh, if if no recommender. Uh, maybe I'm barbershop, but when I need to treatment in my face, um, the better the medical have a beauty salon. Yeah, they have more products, more personnel. That's yes. right. Uh huh. Uh, more specialized. Uh, talking about the place. Yeah, you're right. They have more things than yeah. in a barbershop, depending on the barbershop. Okay. Let's see. Important question. Important question. Ah, yes. How often do you go and how much do you spend? How much what do you spend you when you go? How much? How much? How much? Huh? How mm. much? How much yeah. do you pay More. for a haircut? Well, and when I visit the, the barbecue shows, um, maybe um, five or ten dollars, I, I the surprise. But it's different in 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 a beauty salon because the maybe twenty dollar, twenty more twenty five. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. In barber shops. But ten dollars to spend in a barber shop for me, it's kind of kind of expensive. If you don't need anything else, only a haircut, ten dollars in a barber shop. I don't know. That's me. I don't go anymore to a barber shop. I got my hair myself. Imagine, I don't spend money. <laughs> yeah, I do it myself. Believe it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. now talent, I huh? Sorry. <laughs> now I think that you have a, a good talent. This. At the beginning, no, because I got some of my hair in the incorrect way. But in the second time, better. In the third time, better, better. So I don't spend any money anymore. In a barber shop or even in a beauty salon, not anymore. I mean, but you maybe five dollars, ten, twenty, or twenty-five. Okay, but that is optional. Okay, nice, nice. Let's see. Uh, what is the brand? What? Can you read the question, please? What? What, what brand, brand of shampoo do you use? What brand of shampoo do you use when you take a shower? What brand? Brand means? Marco. Mm -hmm. What brand of shampoo do you use? 
Pardon on your me. hair. Egg or, or head and shoulder for men. Ah, you use ego like the the gelatin for your hair. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that is uh, that is a uh, shampoo very good, a very good shampoo. I've used it. All right, ego or hair and shoulders for men. William, your nacho, no. Why? Uh huh. Do you use mm -hmm. tube nacho for your hair? <laughs> uh, I use tube nacho. Ah, it's really? Well. It's very well. I yeah. believe it's natural, right? Yes. Uh, the element is, uh, well, and the uh, etiquette is natural, all component, but I don't know. I don't want to use that. It's a really, it's functional. Okay. Okay, Tionachi is supposedly natural in the other brand yeah. that you mentioned. And how much is that, Tionachi? Sorry for the question, Jensi. How much is Tionachi? Uh, depend, depend on uh, where do you need to use bird treatment for your hair. Um, I use the, uh, I, I don't remember, it's uh, aran, Arandanos. Arandanos. From natural. the same from the from the same brand brand yeah ah, okay okay it sounds kind of special okay yep. and the price is a special as well <laughs> uh, special treatment is special price uh -huh. in other words kind of expensive yes william you were going to say the shampoo brand that you use mm, shampoo brand uh -huh. um head of shoulder for men or for women? For men. <laughs> for men, of course. <laughs> for men. Okay, Jonathan, uh, Carlos. Uh, yes, William. Yes. Uh -huh. Guys, guys, Carlos, no? Jonathan, okay. Okay, pretty good. Next, next question. Can you read it? Do you have any dandruff due to that shampoo? Uh huh. You guys, do what you is suffer the dandruff? Ah, dandruff is when you don't wash your hair completely, and it, when it gets dry, it pulls a little pieces of shampoo, but they are dry on your scalp. Uh -huh. Ideas? Caspa. Uh -huh, correct. Yes. Dandruff is? Caspa. Yes. Do you have dandruff because of the shampoo that you use? No. I, I have dandruff this for the reason um, I'm changing the shampoo. The element, chemical element, is a um, problem with my hair. Ah, even the, if it's natural. Right. No, your natural, no. Other shampoos. Other shampoos. Ah, okay. Yes. For example, okay. some so, channel holder. <laughs> yeah, it's ironic, but at, I use a channel holder, um, but um, um, I, I don't know. It, when I use uh, head and shoulder or, or, or other mark, other brand, uh, always have a, a, a dandruff. Yeah. For this reason, I need to change the, the other shampoo. Ah, okay, I see. But let me give you an advice. When you use any other brand of shampoo, don't use it pure. Don't use mm. it directly from the, from the bottle. What you mm -hmm. can do is... Take the half of the shampoo and the other half, fill it with water. Half mm. shampoo, half water. With that, you decrease the pureness of the shampoo and mix wow. it. Mix it very, very well. And it will be, uh, the pureness will be decreased. That works. Sure. And the second step is that you have to wash it with a lot of water. No shampoo. 
and dry it very good. Dry it very good. Those are three steps. Mm -hmm. they, um, let's see, try those three steps and you will tell me later. That worked for me. That mm -hmm. worked. Uh, how many times do you use this form? Uh, whenever, let's see, I feel my bottle of shampoo like mm, twice a week. I twice feel a week. Twice a week. Yes. And I use this shampoo that is, do you know the brand Body Body and um, Body Bath? Body Bath and, and Bath? Body, body Words? Something like that. That is the shampoo. But I do it. Half of the shampoo with half of water. And um, it works. Uh, uh, sorry, Coach. Uh, this is shampoo uh, have a selenium con element in this shampoo? Uh, let me Do look for use? the brand body. body I think that it, it is a, a store named like that. Uh, for me. Let's check. Mm -hmm. ah, they, mm -hmm. These ones. I have three different shampoos, but I continue with the first one. I can touch the other two. But there's no treatment. No, they aren't. Ah. It, works, it works for your hair. It works for your body. And you ah, can yes. But I have a vitamin E. Oh, aloe. Yeah. Okay. But what I tell you is I don't use it pure. That's mm. why. I mix it with, with water. And it works. Okay. All right. Hey, Gabriel. Okay. Gabriel, hello. We are sharing hello, teacher. with your classmates. We are talking about the the care of the hair using a specific shampoos, how much you spend when you go to a barber shop or you prefer going to a beauty salon. Gabriel, barber shop well, or beauty salon? Uh... Well, um, I just got to to get a haircut uh, on the neighbor. Um. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't get a special cut. Um, then um, when I had to. Watch, uh, check my um my mustache or well, how do you say barba? My <laughs> bird. Bird. I I do at home. So I just spend uh two dollars uh one out. Uh, two or three months. Oh, ah, okay. Okay, very economic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty good. All right. And what kind of shampoo do you use? What brand? What brand um, of shampoo? Well, um, maybe the most common that I use is a uh, Herald Shoulder, but I don't have uh, any special um for yeah. it you i can i can i can use i can use uh everything uh everything everything mark uh everything uh, uh shampoo and i don't have any any trouble with my my head okay okay that's that's more than perfect that you don't have dandruff yeah, yeah. Or using any brand of shampoo. Okay, pretty good. Maybe uh -huh. I, I have a, a little bit dandruff, but, but with the um with the hull when I use uh Reviva hair or I had to to chain with ego that it uh it helped me 
um, and don't give me any any um dandruff dandruff, dandruff. Yeah. yes dandruff but you know that is a problem when you change too often of the brand of shampoo when you change it one month one brand the next one different that causes on your scalp in your scalp into cuero uh, to have dandruff so you have to use only one or two at most two brands okay perfect guys in this link you're gonna find i'm just gonna show you vocabulary about hair haircuts hair styles etc uh sometimes the website is kind of tricky but basically this is the vocabulary check cuts cuts and styles cuts what else uh check you have videos um you have advice how to maintain regular Haircuts, for example, try a, a pre, pre shampoo. Pre, pre shampoo treatment. What is pre shampoo? Can you read it a little bit? Uh, let's see, maybe William. What is a pre shampoo? Pre shampoo. No, I don't know. Okay. Can you can you read a little bit so we can find out about this? Try, read, read it, please. Read the pattern. Try, try a pre okay, okay, try treatment. A... Okay, first, uh, first William and the the new JNC. Okay, with, okay. With another one. William. Try a pre, try, try a pre shampoo treatment. Pre shampoo treatments can help you begin to achieve your healthy, your healthy high hair goals before you even wash your hair. It can acidic bonding concentrate intensive treatment is the first step to correcting hair damage inside out when used when used as a pre treatment treatment prior prior, prior prior to mm -hmm. shampooing this highly preparative rinse out for formula works within your hair to stretch stretch them hair bones weakened weakened by three source like hair color lightening aggressive brushing daily heat styling and while also smoothing and conditioning your hair's cuticle for a silky Health, healthier Health appearance, mm -hmm. and, and thus all, and thus all of this in all is us as little as five to ten minutes. Minutes, okay. I understand that in a few words, is a special treatment before the shampoo. That's it. Before the shampoo, the treatment. A special treatment, of course, before the shampoo. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that when you have problems, <clears throat> you can use a pre-shampoo treatment, but that means money, of course, a lot of money. Yes, uh, ah, check. Yes, Gen C. Okay. Don't. don't don't overwash your hair. It's a common misconception that you show wash your hair every day. Many hair pros warm that over shampooing can strip your main main of its natural oils. A big no no is your strength. Already suffer from dryness or damage. Stick to shampooing twice a week or every other day and use or dry shampoo, like a Redken did clean dry shampoo. 
in between, watch it to get your money out refresh. Cool. Interesting. Okay, interesting. How, how often do you, do you wash your hair, guys? How often do you wash it? In my case, in my case, three twice a week. Three With times a week. Oil. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. The doctor this uh, they show this, but uh, no use every day shampoo because to irritate the scalp. Uh, irritate the yes. the verb. Irritate. Irritate. Yeah. Irritate. Simple present. Yes. Yes, of course, as you see, it is not good to use the shampoo every day. It is clear in this paragraph. Okay, pretty cool. Check, next, shampoo the right away. Uh, Gabriel, would you like to read this paragraph about this? Gabriel? Gabriel, ah, he left. He may be disconnected. Joel, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. We are talking about the the care of the hair. Uh, shampoo the hair away. If you apply shampoo all over your mane, is tied to retain your technique. Only you feel. Mm -hmm. A lot of production build up on build, your build up, build, build up, build up mm -hmm. on your stride. Uh, mm -hmm. Focus your shampoo application er, on your scalp. Scalp. Where mass of the product residue I oil bull. Build up. Build, build up. up. Build up. After. After giving you a skull, a good screw, the, the sods, sobs will travel, will travel down. Will travel down. You strong washing away and will dump. Build up in impurities. Impurities. Apply, apply shampoo to your scar instead of all over your head will heal to prevent Amen. your strength from, from looking and failing dry. dry. Okay, pretty good. So you have to apply the shampoo directly to the scalp. That's important to know. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, uh, check. You have a lot of information on this website, pretty useful. Continue reading about this, about the care of your hair uh, and many things that you can take on account for the care of your hair. Okay, check. Check, check, what is next? After checking the link, let's check this. Let's develop this. Uh, we have a listening activity about the, about the? Astronauts. How astronauts take care of the hair. Take care of their, no. Of their hair. Okay, sounds pretty interesting. Check. What is uh, the brand of the shampoo that the astronaut has? What is that brand? Let's see if you know about brands, shampoo brands. Check it. <coughs> Head and shoulders? No. No. You're not sure. <coughs> yes. No. There. No. Uh huh. What, uh, what uh, is that shampoo? In, in, in opinions, I, I, I said that so maybe uh, to. Baby shampoo. <laughs> Correct, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Basically, it is a, a mening or the other shampoo. That's Johnson. <laughs> Johnson's, correct. Uh -huh. okay. Johnson's and mening shampoo. Okay, let's check this uh, information about how astronauts, how to wash your hair 
in the space. space. How is that? Let's check. Uh, let's see, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. William, you came back. William? Hi. Can you read these uh, two lines, please? Okay. Astronauts have to watch the hair too. Watch a current neighbor on the International Space Station show shows us how. Okay. Uh, International Space Station shows us how. Shows us how. Okay. Instructions. Uh, let's do the preparation is first. Match the words with the specific definitions. Okay. Yes, we have all these words, but we are going to match them accordingly with the definition. Number one, let's see. Uh, Jonathan, definition one. A creamy liquid to make hair clean. All right, a creamy, creamy, a creamy liquid to make a hair clean. Uh, the word? Shampoo. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's see, Joel, next. A uh, flat, a flat piece, piece of plastic with the thing used to make her hair tidy. Okay, a flat, a flat piece of plastic, flat. Okay, a flat, a flat, flat mm -hmm. piece of plastic with thin, thin teeth, teeth used, used to make, to make hair, hair tidy. Tidy. When you when you combat, in other words, when you are doing this, you are making it tidy. The word? Mm. A comb. Ah, a comb. Okay, pretty good. Next, uh, Gen Z. To shoot liquid up or a small opening. To shoot liquid out of a small opening. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, a small it's opening, quick, quick. in other words, is, is like a mini hole or a small hole. But it's using a verb, let's see. It's using the to shoot. That is a verb. But not in this in this context. Mm -hmm. huh. To squirt, maybe. To squirt sounds like a verb. Might be. It might be. Okay. Uh next. You can read it, the, no problem. The skin. The skin on the top of the head. The skin on the top of your head. The skin. This. What is this? Not the hair. Scalp. The scalp. Correct. The scalp. That's right. The scalp. Next. Completely clean. Completely, Completely clean. It's a synonym. Squeak clean. clean. It's squeak. It's squeaky. 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 Clean. It's squeak is quickly clean. clean. <laughs> that is weird, right? It sounds like in formal English, it's quickly clean. Okay, nice. Next definition, one word. Restricted. Restricted means? Limited. Limited. Limited, Limited. yes, that's right. Limited. Okay. Uh, oh, definition, next. To change from a liquid to a gas. To change uh, from liquid to... To gas. evaporate. To evaporate. Yeah, that is a verb. It's a verb. Correct. 
finally a type of hairstyle where hair is pulled back and tied so it hangs down in the last word Ponytail. <laughs> it's a hairstyle, yes. A Especially women, women use it. And some men, some men as well. Okay, no problem with the definitions. Pretty good. Let's check the video. Please, attention, I will play it only the video in the second time with, with the complete transcript. Okay, here we go with this video. Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space, and I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no-rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Sometimes the water gets away from you and you try and catch as much as you can. Then I just work the water up through to the ends of my hair. Then I take my no rinse shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called no rinse shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. Actually feels kind of squeaky clean right now. now. I'll take the dry part of my towel. We use towels for quite a while here since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. There. I think that's pretty good and now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags and while it dries I like, like to uh, let it stay stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station. Okay, kind of curious how she does that in the space. Do you think that is well washed? <laughs> is it well washed? You think? Yes or no? Well washed in the space. Um. Or, mm -hmm. For me, I don't know. It is not well washed. But that is the thing. Okay, let's see. Let's follow the transcript while you listen the audio. Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space, and I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. A bag of warm water, a little no rinse shampoo, towel, and my comb. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp. And I have a mirror here so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Sometimes the water gets away from you <laughs> and you try and catch as much as you can. It's a difficult one, the water. Up 
through to the ends of my hair. And I take my No Rinse Shampoo and squirt it also on the scalp, just a little bit, and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And sometimes I'll actually take my comb to help work it all the way to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. I like to follow that by a little more water. It's called No Rinse Shampoo, but I think it's best if you use a little water with it. It actually feels kind of squeaky clean right now. I'll take the dry part of my towel. We use towels for quite a while here since we have limited supplies. We use them wisely. There, I think that's pretty good. And now as my hair dries, as the water evaporates from my hair, uh, it will uh, become humidity in the air and then our air conditioning system will collect uh, that into condensate and it won't be long and our water processing system will turn that into drinking water. At the end, I just do one final comb through to make sure there are no snarls and snags. And while it dries, I like to, like to uh, let it stay stay free. I don't put it back in a ponytail while it's drying. And that is how I wash my hair in space on the International Space Station. Okay. Yeah, the space is pretty interesting. Yes. And the things that you normally do on Earth, they are different in space, obviously. Okay, yes, let's, let's do this one, this exercise. Read the instructions and put it in the correct order. Okay. Oops. Oh, in this kind of exercise, we need to use the memory and the retentive according with the video. Okay. The first, the first part that she did was what? The first thing that she did to wash her hair is step number one. Um. Okay, guys, William, well. Mm -hmm. Yes, now rinse shampoo, squirt it under the scalp and rub it in. Ah, okay. When you when you wash your hair, do you use shampoo first? Um, are you sure? Those uh, are all the options. Uh, these are all the options. There are no more options. Okay. All Ooh. these ones. But what is what is first? Oh, Shampoo or water when you go and okay. wash it? It, 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 it has water on your scalp. Use a little water. more water. Mm. Nah, put hot water on your scalp. Ah, okay. Uh, what what do you say? Use a little more water sounds after another step. The previous yeah, that, step mm. or the first one. Might be. Yeah, the, put hot water put on hot your water. scalp. Okay, that is the first step because in the video she said, she says, I, I have these, these, and this, but first I, I put kind of hot water on my scalp. Correct. After that, in the video, what do you remember? Watching the mirror to see what you are doing. 
Yeah. Uh, in the, mi the mirror, yeah. where is the, the sentence? I don't see. The it's the last one. The end. Ah, okay. This one. As a number two, watch in the mirror to see what you're doing. Uh, in my B, well, I can see, might be, or maybe not. Okay. Next. Use a comical mm -hmm. word and the world ends your hair. Mm. Go, let's see. Ah, this one. Mm -hmm. As number three. Okay. Okay. Yes, the next one, next step. Yes, now rinse and put it on your scalp and rub it. Ah, okay, it is already there. Okay, I don't need to change it. Use no rinse shampoo, squirt it onto your scalp and rub it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Use next. a little more water. A little more water, okay. And when the shampoo is in, in your hair, use a towel to get the dirt out. All right. Okay. Then? Work the water. Work the water of drop on the ends of your okay. hair. Okay. And... Yeah, ah, okay. Yes. That is the final, the final yes. sentence. Okay, let's see how good you did this exercise according with the video. Let's mm -hmm. check. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> not completely correct, but not bad. Yeah. Because only three incorrect. of them are incorrect. Check. Put hot water is number one. Watching the mirror is correct, yes. But number three, no. And use a little more water and shake that next to. Okay, let's check the correct ones first. Make memory. Put hot water, number one. Mirror, focus on a word that can help you to organize the sentences. Mm -hmm. Hot water, number one. Number two? Watch the mirror. See mirror, the correct. Mirror. Watch the mirror, yes. Uh, number three is incorrect. Number yeah. four? No rinse shampoo. Number four, remember. No rinse shampoo. Number four. Number five is incorrect. Number six? It's correct. Uh, use a towel. Remember, use a towel. Number six. Use a towel. Number six. Seven, incorrect. In the next one, then with the dry part of the towel, dry your hair. Dry your okay. hair. Try again. Let's see if you can make it correct. Number one. As as I told you, focus. Yeah, but on the put out the water under his cup. Okay, where is ah? Okay, number two. Uh, use yeah. a mirror uh, when you see it. Yeah, the mirror, correct. Okay. Yeah, okay. Number three was incorrect, yeah. remember. Number Maybe four, use a little more water. Use a little more water, number three. Yes. Okay, maybe. Number four? Remember number four? Okay, I'm going to help you do one. Coach, move the den with the dry at the end, but uh, it's correct, remember? Ah, yeah, yeah, correct. Move, okay. Okay, there it is. Okay. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More the water, use a cup. It is not... All right, we are in number four. We are in this place. Yes. Uh, is no rinse shampoo squirted on your scalp and rub it? Yes, yes, yes. All right. I agree. Okay. Four. Number I five was comb. correct. Number five. 
Number six, remember number six? When the shampoo in your hair is too, not his finger out. Ah, it sounds like this was number six, you mean, Jensen? Yeah. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six in this place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay. number five was incorrect. I remember one, two, three, four, and five. Six and seven. But the last one is correct. Yes. Six and this one. Do I change them? Do I interchange the place? I remember she described that two step. The first step, he, she say use no ring, shampoo, square on your scalp and drop in. Next two, she explained, um, use a comb to her work in the other way in the end your hair. But All I'm right. not sure when the shampoo is your hair. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, no problem. Uh, okay. Guys, uh, maybe maybe it is work the water up through the to the ends of your hair. Maybe it's the third one, and before no, and after the rinse shampoo is use a little more water. Okay, you mean this one is after no rinse shampoo? No, be, before. Ah, before. And use and use a little more water. Uh, after the no rinse shampoo. Like this? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's leave it uh, like that. I don't know. Let's <laughs> check. This is only a practice, but it's pretty good for your retentive, for your memory about what you watched. No problem. Let's check if you could do more correct. Let's see. Do oh, yeah. You advanced one more. Yes. Okay. Yeah, not, not bad. You almost get it. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Do I change them? Do I change them? Okay, let's show the answers. Check. Check this part and this one. Let's see if they are in the incorrect place. Show answers. Ah, correct. Only those two. Use a comb was here and use a little more water was in this place. But very good practice. Not bad. Not bad. Very yes, good. Yes, yes. Not bad. Yes, it's very good. Because nice. the important thing is to give it a meaning, no? Yeah. Sometimes you don't have to focus on the complete sentence, only a specific words that can help, can help you to remember in this in this exercise the order of the description according with the video. And that is a good practice. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Guys, thank you so much. There is no more content to check by now. Uh, tomorrow we finish the week number three. All right, continue with the assignments as you are doing. And that's it. Thank you guys for connecting and joining to the class. Hey. See you tomorrow, final class of the week. Thank Good you. Week, guys. Coach. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Bye bye, guys.